Okay, we're on video number two today of the Delta Ray brushless um, motors. We're doing MT 2204, 2300 KV motors from Emax, real good quality. Props are 645 and 645 reverse. We got rotating, counter rotating um, brushless motors here. And we ran straight off the safe receiver. So if you want safe, you can use it. It's all set up stock except for the ESCs, the motors, and then we use a brushed to brushless adapter. We also had to turn down the, um, we turned the output on the throttle channel down to like 75% and just linearized it so that the throw of the stick maxes out at 75. So without further ado, final flight control systems test. Now it's getting kind of dumb. I gotta give it a second. Okay. Um, we can probably take off from there if you want, or we can pick it up. What Just do you think? Whatever you want. I kind of want to try to take off. Go ahead. We'll show a grass take off. Okay, guys, this Delta Ray is super light still. We're running on a 3S pack now. Just to show you the throttle condition here. We're about, what are we like? 27%, there's 50. And when I say 50, that's prorated with the... And I did bring mine today, the one that I've updated with, uh, that's about 80% throttle. She got unlimited vertical. Ooh, oscillation from the AS3X, what a turd. That was not cool. And what happens is when you give it too much yaw control, meaning like any, it maxes out one ESC and shuts it off. So we gotta land and see if we can correct that. So what I'm gonna do is I'll cut safe on. And I'm just gonna let safe land it. I'm just using a little bit of yaw authority here. Hey, I'm gonna land right where you are, bud. Okay. Trying to cut throttle. Got the common problem with the Delta right here. This is safe, guys. So, with, I mean, I was just using the aerons to kind of roll it into position. Let's, um, actually, we'll just turn down the controls here. So we got throttle cuts on, servo set up. We're on travel. For the rudder, we'll just turn the travel down to like 30%. Now, let's just go real aggressive. Let's do 15, okay? Now we'll try this again, and what will happen is hopefully we won't cut off the ESCs. And I think what's going on, guys, is that we're just, we're just interacting with, oh, and be careful because I want to show you guys something. Safe is off. Okay, it's not acting, acting out right now, which is this good. This is a good, um, good um, way to take off down the uh, sidewalk. I'm going that way. You I are? got a ramp. All right. Okay, so just so you guys know, I'm in AS3X right now. Remember, there's no fixed prop, so I'm actually having to give it some, some stick movement for the yaw control, which is much better, actually. About 15% throttle. There's 70% throttle. Good roll authority. It's flying, it's flying okay, it's just weird. You just always feel like it's on the edge of like losing throttle, so I'm just being very conservative with it. I wanna get up there and womp on it like I do with mine. And the funny thing is it just, I got a little bit of roll I gotta try to trim out too here. So why don't I? Here, let's step up on this platform here. I'm gonna try to get a little trim of trim this roll out. I think it's that you were saying how that one aileron looked like it was up. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, just gotta land it, no big deal. Looks like one of the uh, awesome repaired uh, mounts is not gonna be very nice to us. <laughs> okay, I stalled that pretty drastically so that we can put it down without ripping the motor off of the leads. Talk about the uh, blue. Uh, okay, guys, Loctite. if you use Loctite, you got to put it on the bolt and then you got to let it dry. Let's walk this way. Basically, let's watch the aftermath. If you don't, if you don't let the blue Loctite, if you don't let it dry, it's gonna ruin the plastic. So just get ready for it. There's your problem. Right there. There's your 
There's your problem, guys. Yep. I'm missing a motor. Oh man, what happened, guys? The motor mount ripped off. And this is what happens when you use blue Loctite. And Esteban and I made a stupid decision and used blue Loctite. And when I say and I, I mean him. But I also did it on my Consendo at the same time, thinking I'm just gonna make sure this bolt doesn't come out. And we actually went through and glued these things up and reinforced them and basically fiberglassed them, but we didn't use fiberglass. And uh, it is what it is. Did you say you had another one of these? No, I'm gonna have to order one. That's, oh man, that's the order of shame. But either way, if you want your Sorry. wonderful Delta Ray to look like this, just follow our video series. Or wait a few minutes and I'll show you what, what it looks like when we put in a regular receiver and we just say, screw the safe receiver. Keep in mind guys, you gotta know how to fly. And believe me, if you can't fly this with safe, you need to keep flying it with the brushed motors for a while, get used to it, work your way up. If the brushed motors wear out, just get the extreme brushed motors if they're still available, if you can find them. They're pretty good, they'll give you a little more fun for a while or just better yet, get them from Horizon. They will wear down, you'll get about 85% power and then they'll just be about dead. And this thing doesn't fly. So, thanks for watching.